Welcome to the official YouTube channel for the Colin Coward Podcast. Go on, hit the subscribe button. There you go, right down there. If you wanna be among the first to hear my weekly takes, NFL, college football, more, right there. Can we talk about something a little inside baseball with the sure. NFL? That yeah. they've they clearly just laid off a lot of people and that they are trimming down what they do. And the media's take is consistently, this business is making so much money. Yeah. What are you doing? Yet yeah. I'm someone who literally makes a living off the NFL, who fo couldn't follow it any more closely, and I never watch NFL Network. So Ever. just because your business of the games, and one thing I've noticed at the gym I go to, you know, they have 10 TVs and one's always on Fox News, the other's on CNN, the other's on ESPN, the other's on Fox Sports, the other's on NFL Network. The only thing NFL Network now is playing is just games. Like I looked out, I went this afternoon and I yeah. looked up and it was the Colts Rams game from earlier this year, overtime game, and they're just replaying it. it could, they're probably getting the same rating. So it's like, th just because the WNBA, I don't know if they make money now, never made any money. The NBA just subsidized them forever. Right. Like yeah. the NFL, just because the games are making money, the other entities, they shouldn't just, if it's not working, I don't, people don't watch NFL network. NFL network has been, it up doesn't mean they sale. don't have talented people or whatever working for the network, but it's not making any money. They've been, that thing's been up for sale for seven years. They've been trying to sell that thing. Uh, I know somebody inside NBA TV that's dead. Nobody watches that. Nobody watches. Now, MLB Network is different because shows like mine, ESPN, Fox, we don't talk baseball. So the discussions you have on the MLB Network yeah. are unique. Nobody else golf, is having golf channel. Golf Channel worked. Yep, yep. And so NBA and NFL Network, all those debates, they're on television all day. There's too much duplication. Um, and then, I mean, listen, I, I, I don't watch the NFL Network. I think I know Peter Schrager very, very well. Same. Kyle, I, yeah, I like those guys. Job. They're good. But, when you move a show to the West Coast, you can't do a morning show out West, an effective morning show, because you can't. When I came from ESPN to Fox and they asked me what time I was asked by my radio network, my TV network, what time do you want to do? You, you pick the time slot. And I said, well, you can't I can't do anything earlier than 9 a.m. Pacific which is noon Eastern. I said, because you can't get, I can't ask my staff to get up at two 50. And in Los Angeles, in New York, a lot of people come down a building and walk to work in Los yeah. Angeles. Everybody drives to work. So yeah. I have to, if you get, if you need to be there by in my show right now, you have to be there about five 55 to six. I get there about six, 10 staff gets there about maybe six to six. We, we all get in at the same time. If I was doing, uh, meaning they have to get up probably at five ish, shower at 35 minute drive that's reasonable you get into four 345 people have to get up you can't get a staff so if i was a betting man the nfl network will not have a morning show in the fall they will just show replays of games that would well, be my I, guess there's no way if i live out east and you move the show and you're asking me to get up at 345 it's like i'm out I, it's nothing against the people it's like that's they're just doing that as a cost-saving move and it's not a knock on the people. I mean, I know Eisen. Uh, yeah. I know Schrager really well. But it's like these people get caught up in, they, they just tend to forget, is that once there's duplication and you're not special, all these, all these sports created these networks. But nobody talks hockey except the NHL network. Nobody talks baseball on a syndicated national level except like local stations in the MLB network. Guys like me... Stephen A. Skip, doesn't matter who it is, ESPN, Fox all day. We talk NFL and the NBA. Yeah. You don't need the networks. They're dead. Nothing against anybody. So, and I, listen, even at the volume, we're doing very well. You're always, you're always looking for ways to put your best people on your best shows to make sure you have the most efficiency. It, it's, it, I'm not blaming anybody for it. I, I just know the NFL network's been for sale for like seven years. It's, quietly been anybody want it there's no takers no. Can, can i give you a theory i had on what the dolphins should do after what right. just happened so the bills who i i've said every, the overreaction that they're just gonna suck which th maybe they take a huge step back but they but they'll still be fine yeah by be far fine. have the best quarterback who to me is the second best quarterback in the league and clearly yeah. one of the great quarterbacks we've seen in recent memory talent wise yeah. yeah the dolphins have a big question mark with their quarterback who's 
turned out to be solid, but in the biggest moments these last couple of years has crumbled like a cookie. Yeah. And this year, I remember talking to Veach and Andy at the combine, and they said, and Veach specifically said, when you walked out on that playoff game, he's like, that's the coldest thing I've ever encountered. I was even nervous <laughs> just for my own guys, even though I knew we had Mahomes versus them, but I was like, God, and it wasn't even close. And they, they had no shot, the Dolphins. So now, yeah. before you give a guy a couple hundred million dollars, yeah. wouldn't you go, no excuses now. Belichick's with his kid in Seattle. You got, who knows what New England's doing. The, the Jets, I mean, are three pulled hamstrings and Achilles from being everyone getting fired. <laughs> and the Bills lost a lot of talent. So they just yes. have, if we can't do it this year, I mean, we just had, it felt like a 20 game lead halfway through the season. And then somehow we didn't win the division and they did. If we can't win it this year, we can't pay this guy. And then that means a home playoff game. We should win a playoff game. Wouldn't you just play this year out? You're already under the cap. Like he's already, his money's his I, money this year. I, Why pay him this year? Let's let's kind of do a prove it year, a little Flacco style hey, almost. Dak and Tua, in my opinion, will be available on the market potentially next year. I, I, I There's no doubt in my mind. I mean, Jones, I would not pay Tua right now, given everything that just happened no, with the AFC. I wouldn't pay Dak. If you start I, don't, I a, think they're hesitant to do that, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I think Tua I think Tua is going to be on the market next year. By the way, there's going to be a Kirk Cousins level guy in the market, one minimum, two probably, for the rest of the years we do this for a living because it's pretty clear in the NFL now. Two quarterbacks get you to a Super Bowl. A superstar, there's six, you know Stafford, Allen, whoever, Mahomes, or a really talented young guy on a rookie contract. That's it. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing that gets in. So good guys getting paid handsomely, Kirk Cousins, Dak, Tua, you can't pay Tua. So I think no. Tua will be on the market and there'll be a team that's like, listen, we're stacked everywhere else or competency gets rewarded. Kirk Cousins has made more money than Tom Brady playing quarterback. Competency plus, and that's what Dak and Kirk are. Competency plus gets paid in every business. For sure. I mean, I, I think, Houston's a good example. They go, we got the young quarterback who actually might be a top five guy, all chips in the middle of the table. Yeah. All of our chips are in the middle of the table. And one of my takes last week was like, that's kind of what all sports fans want. It's just teams to be really aggressive. I mean, look at the most popular teams over the last 20 years, the heat, the warriors, <laughs> right? The, some of those the Dodgers, Patriot, Randy Moss teams, yeah. the Dodgers, the chiefs over the last five years. Like that's, that's what we want. So I commend them for doing this. And because it's polarizing, all the print you either win or if you don't, it's a disaster. It's why the Jets last year they went all in for Aaron Rodgers, and then it was the all time shit show. And part of the story is it gets even crazier when you don't win once you put all your chips in the middle of the table. So, like I listen, I I think the Houston Texans they have had one of the great twelve month stretches. That they they I would say they lucked in a little bit because I do think they would have taken Bryce Young if yeah. they would have had the number one pick. But hey. Tua went ahead with Justin Herbert and the Chargers got him. Who cares how you got the guy? You just got the guy. Right. And now they have a chance. That division's a little wonky, right? The 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 Jags have a lot going on, a lot of pressure on Trevor Lawrence, the Titans that have no quarterback. Colts. I was actually peeking at the TV today when the NFL network was replaying that. Anthony Richardson, when he was healthy in this Rams game, oh looked my pretty God. good. <laughs> you know, he looked he looked pretty talented. So uh, they just got to keep him on the field. He's he's pretty intriguing. I was like, God, I kind of forgot about this guy. Uh, but it, it's, I, I think they're trying to throw their hat in the ring, right? With the Ravens, with, with the right. chart, or I mean, with the chiefs and just give themselves a chance. Now this also, you know, part of being a great player in any sport or being successful in anything in life, it's not just about one hit or just one solid year of sales. Like right. can you do it year in year out? There is just a lot of pressure on everyone's gunning for you. Now you're not sneaking up on anybody. Everyone's studying your tape a little harder. It's no longer, oh, yeah, just we're playing the – no, they're, they're doing deep dives on you in the offseason, how to stop you. So I, I'm fascinated to watch this Texans team, how they kind of handle it, because talent is not going to be their issue. John Middlecoff, as always, on a Sunday night, buddy. Great seeing you. See you, Colin.